Hey guys, it's Carla. Today I'm going to be painting on chipboard. Um, I use that sometimes because I like the fact that it has that natural color to it and it's considerably cheaper than um, canvas panels. So I'll put a link in the description below and um, so that if you want to order some of those then I think it ends up being about um, 19 cents each or something um, if you use both sides of it and that's one of the good things about it is you can use both sides all right so what I'm doing is uh, just covering the background with um, a blue and white mixture on the top and then just white at the bottom and I just sped through that because it's pretty self-explanatory and I'm using synthetic brushes so just whatever size you need, size and shape you need for, for the area you're working in. And so now I want to fill in my cherry with white, um, just so that the, the colors will show up good against it. So I'm just gonna let that dry and start on my muffin. And I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make it three different shades so like my light is coming from the left hand side so that left hand side is going to be the lighter shade and then then there'll be a middle shade and then the darker shade on the right um, and i'm just brushing this on with again a synthetic brush i'm using acrylic paint and today i'm using white raw sienna burnt umber, phthalo blue, black, and red. So now this is, um, that first shade was the, the burnt umber and white, and then this is just burnt umber. This painting is super easy, especially if you have the um, the outline drawn on. And you can get this free traceable on my Facebook page, and I'll put that link below too, um, where you can print off the, the um, traceable and the reference photo. So both of those are free. So now I've mixed some black with the the burnt umber for my shaded side. And now with mostly black, um, I'm going to put in a shade, a cast shadow for my stro uh, for my um, cherry, and I know it's hard to see on the monitor, but but it's there, and I'm just kind of scumbling around and putting in some dark areas in the muffin uh, where it's like like cracks in the muffin and just indentions. And so I'm not, I'm not really thinking about it. I'm just kind of scumbling around. And right underneath the muffin top will be pretty dark. And then right here, I want to kind of indicate the um, the lines in the muffin from the cup from the muffin cup. I'm 
Now the main thing here is to keep your brush strokes going in the right direction because um, you want to indicate the, the shape of this paper, the little ridges in the paper. And right here I'm leaving that little edge. I'll come back and put some color on that, but um, there's gonna be a highlight on that little edge, so I just left that dry. And now with raw sienna, I'm gonna put another color into that paper. Now I'm gonna mix a little bit of white with that raw sienna and put in my highlights on the paper. And I'm using a, a pointed synthetic brush for this. You could use a liner brush or whatever. I'm just very lightly touching the canvas or the chipboard in this case. And now I wanna erase my pencil lines on, on my shadow um, before I put my shadow color in. So I'm gonna mix some blue and black and a little bit of white. Let's start on my shadow. And I'm using a hog bristle brush for this because with the hog bristle brush, I can just kind of scrub it on and leave, uh, leave soft edges. So I'm going right against my muffin um, with a hard edge and then the edges of the shadow will be soft. I want to make sure I don't cover up my little thin line right there for the highlight on the paper. Now with a little bit lighter shade, um, I'm gonna use it as kind of a transition color uh, between the white and the shadow. So this helps to soften up the edges of the, of the shadow. And now with a little darker shade, um, the 
the center of the shadow is typically a little bit darker so right up against the object and um, coming out some it's just going to be just a tad bit darker and now right here the light coming from the left is shining through the paper because the paper is thin so it's kind of putting that some of that color onto the table and then now that this white is dry I'm going to go ahead and fill in the color for my cherry and the stem And now with the raw sienna and a little blue, I'm gonna mix up a green, a green shade for the stem. And then with a dark, a really dark shade, just the tip of my brush, um, I'm gonna put a shadow on the bottom edge of the stem because my light is coming from the upper right hand corner I mean upper left hand corner all right now with a hog bristle brush I picked up some white paint on my brush and I'm just kind of dabbing in some uh, highlighted texture onto the muffin so mostly between those between those black lines that I put in and most of my highlights are going to be on the left hand side so as I come over here toward the right I'm going to put less highlights and maybe some darker highlights This hog bristle brush really gives that texture you want in the muffin. So I've dirtied it up a little bit uh, to put some very, very subtle highlights over here on the right hand side in the shadow. So it should just gradually get uh, darker from left to right. Okay, now this is watered down white, and again, I'm softening that transition between the table and the shadow. And this is a hog bristle brush. So now with watered down uh, burnt umber, I'm just kind of changing the flavor a little bit of the shadow. So just just keep playing around with it until until you like it. That's kind of what I did. Just you know, you might need to come back and soften edges. You might need to come back and darken areas or lighten areas. But uh, just play around with it till you till you like it but it's all with the hog bristle brush 
All right, so now with the little liner brush, I'm putting a highlight on the top of edge of the stem, and this is just pure white. And now, before I highlight the cherry, I want to uh, put the shadow side in, which obviously would be the uh, lower right hand side because the light's coming from the upper left. And then this little area where the, the stem goes in would be in shadow. Now before I add my highlights, I want to put a second coat on the red. Now with my dirty brush, I'm mixing in some white to start on the highlights. This is just a small synthetic brush. Now right here I'm just using a hog bristle brush to kind of scrub in some highlights in that um, the body of the muffin now this is crumbs so I'm just tapping in with the tip of the brush just tapping in some some little crumbs here and there And I want to highlight the cherry with just one bright highlight so I'm, I've got plenty of paint on, on the tip of the brush. And then I want to make a shadow color for the crumbs because they have to have shadows too. So the shadows will be cast toward the right like they are in the muffin. So this is just watered down um, blue, black, and white. All right, so now I'm gonna take the tape off and it kind of leaves a frame around it, which is nice. And that's it, guys. I hope you all enjoyed this and thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and God bless you.